All right, you asked for natural gas, you're getting more. So here we go again. We're diving right into it. We're breaking down forward slash NG, D gas, U gas, natural gas. Let's go. So this morning, right here, yesterday, almost midnight, we set this point right here, right? I'm going to go ahead and put a circle around that. Boom, right there, first touch. So if I zoom in a tiny bit, then we can move into today. So we're looking at 1 a.m., 1.32. We get a touch here. And we're getting one here. And you can kind of see we're building the theme again like we did yesterday. So there's four touches on the same level with a sell-off all the way down to here, right? So you can see all these touches. And then what happens? 5.30 a.m., we start pushing all the way back up right here. There's another touch right there. So that happened at 6.30. So what you could have done in the pre-market, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit here, is you could have said, all right, we're touching that same level that we've touched a bunch of times, and now we're starting to sell off and crack below the lows of these two candles. So right at the break here, you could have gone short, but remember, you can't go short on forward slash NG because it's the futures. So if you want to go short, you have to use the inverse ETF for natural gas, which the one we've been using is DGAS. And if we look at DGAS, so if you look right here, exactly 622, right in here, see those two dots? Those were levels that opened and closed on the one minute chart. So right in here, when you were seeing forward slash NG starting to confirm that it was moving to the downside, you could look at the inverse ETF DGAS right here, and you could have gone long right in this area. Now. Based on forward slash NG, my thought on this is if you did in fact take a position on this based on what we're talking about here, right here you've got all these touches and then you get another one. This sell-off likely because we've had so many touches down in this area that seems to be a realistic area to possibly take your profits. So you would watch this. So right around 6.53, we'll see what DGAS was looking like at 6.53 in the morning. So at 6.53, we were right up in here. Okay, so if we measure that distance, let's see what kind of profit we could have had. If you'd have gone long here, and sold here, you're looking at roughly, you can see there, 1.94, almost 2% on your money if you would have taken that move right there. And that was pre-market stuff. Some people don't like pre-market stuff. So if you don't like pre-market stuff, you could have waited a little bit longer. And something you could have got in on here was, because of all these touches we've had down here as well, I'm gonna flip back over to my, my circles here. See these points in here again? All these touches where we've established a ceiling and we've established a floor. Until that breaks or changes, then we can use it. So as we got closer, we got this big dip down here. I'm just, just gonna zoom in on this a little bit. It pushed way down and then worked right back up. So we're on a one minute chart, so you can see these candles, but I wanna show you a trick on this. When you're looking at a range, and you wanna know how significant a break deviation is where it comes back into your range, you know, some people would say, well, what about this? Does that mean it's going lower? Well, watch what happens if I go to a two minute chart on this. If I go to a two minute chart, it cleans it up a little bit. You can see this big wick down here, okay? So let's go ahead, let's go to the five minute chart. And what you're gonna start to see is, you see how this cleans it up even more? Now if I go to a 15 minute chart, we're getting even more. 
Now it's just a candle down with a long wick and a candle up. Now let's go to a 30 minute. Look at that. All that is, is a wick. Significant candles stopping around this area, coming back up, coming back down, but those little one minute candles, when you consolidate them all up on a larger time frame, it's really just a probe, just a wick that broke and came back out and didn't even close down there. So when you see something like that, that's not necessarily giving you a higher high, higher low scenario. It's literally just saying, oop, we dumped, and then oop, we worked back up. It's almost like an overcorrection. So what you could have done here was, once it came back up into your range, I understand you know, you're not confident yet, you wanna give it a second. It pushes up, pulls back. Now look at this right here. These two candles are very important because the red one pulls back into our area of support and the green one is bullish engulfing. It is engulfing the bearish candle. So you could have got long right in here at, at 728 and look to take your profit you know, if you're still extrapolating this out, let's move this to the right, looking to take profit in this area somewhere. So let's look at 728 on which, which ticker? We're wanting to go long, so would it be DGAS or UGAS? UGAS, right? Because we're going with the futures. So if I do that, all right, so at 728, here's that dip. There's that dip on you gas. So because natural gas was confirming the uptrend, you could look at you gas and say, all right, I'm going to go long here. And then trying to push it back up to this level. So you see we got the push up, pull back, pull back, and then it ran and it went all the way. So really like this is a pretty crazy trade because if you'd have got long in here somewhere, right here, and you would have held to that point, that's 3.91% if you'd have held to that line. 3.9, almost 4% on your money. That's a, that's a massive amount on your money for, um, for a trade like this. So that would have been an amazing opportunity as well. And it's all based on forward slash NG, the natural gas futures. You were able to watch them, and yesterday we talked about it, we said, why not use United Gas Fund, UNG? Well, if you were using United Gas Fund instead of forward slash NG, the futures, you wouldn't have had this point or this point or this one or this one. This is four significant touches that helped us establish our ceiling. We got our floor. We got our floor. We wanted to, if you didn't want to wait for the market to open, you could have taken this one short with DGAS. If you're not comfortable with that and you want to get closer to the market open, we identified a point right in here at 728, two minutes before the market opened. So you could have entered basically, if you had to wait till the market opened, you could have entered right here. But if you'd have taken it here and rode it all the way up to the ceiling, it was going to give about 4%. So one of them went for 2%, the other one went for 4% based on forward slash NG one minute chart and that's our natural gas recap today comment let me know if you still want these i need i need feedback and comments to keep doing this so throw those below let me know how you did if you traded anything today let me know what you did let me know if this helped you and we'll be back at it again tomorrow thanks for stopping by